Hey guys, today I will be taking you through a little bit of Allegro Brilliant by Ten Hove. Um, I'll kind of go slow and talk through positions and things that might help you in um, being successful in playing this in tune and um, things like that. So let's start right from the beginning. Um, if you're using the Barbara Barber edition in the book Solos for Young Violinists, um, that is the edition that I'm using too. And I think the fingerings are great. Um, there might be one place that I change it uh, on the second page or page 12 in the book, in the violin book. But other than that, I really like her fingerings. I think she does a great job editing these pieces. Fingerings and bowings are pretty good. So if you have never played out of these books before, a couple things that you need to realize or know, um, or just in general, being a violinist, you need to know what these things mean. So the first thing that I just wanna point out um, is a lot of times in these books, um, they use the symbol of the string name and then dashes next to it. So at that point, you should just make sure that you're on that string in whatever position that is. She doesn't tell you that what position it is, but she tells you to play it on that string. So you should play it on that string, sol D for that long until the end of the bracket. And you'll see that quite quite frequently. Um, also, sometimes you'll see just one string name above a number. I know these are backwards, but you'll see one string name above a number. And to make sure that that um, note is played on the correct string, um, she doesn't, again, she doesn't write what position it is. That's your job to figure that out. Um, but as long as you're playing that note on the string, you're in the right position. So let's start right from the beginning. <clears throat> um, first thing you need to realize is the first pickup note is just an eighth note. So make sure that you're subdividing before you begin even your pickup note. The second time that this pickup happens on the third line down, um, the first line, notice that it's a 16th note this time, the third line down. So you have to make sure that you're subdividing and make, the, make sure that those are two very different sounding pickup notes. Um, so right off the bat, the, from the beginning, we start with the eighth note pickup. I'm gonna subdivide before I begin. The very first measure, I'm just gonna talk you through this and then we'll play it or I'll play it for you. The very first measure, you have a half note, four sixteenth notes, and then you have a six tuplet. So how are you going to count that or what is the six tuplet? Know that the six tuplet should be worth um, one beat. So you have to fit six notes into one beat um, because they're 16th notes. Um, after that, you have um, some high positions, blah, blah, blah. Let's play a little bit and then I'll keep walking through. So here we go. I'm going to start subdividing from the beginning. One and two and three and four. that the six tuplet was worth one beat. Um, so I kind of just say in my head, starting with the 16th notes, I say one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you're at the next note. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, <laughs> tricky to get that bow crossing um, with but my suggestion is a couple of things you can practice it without the fingers add in the fingers okay um, that's one way to practice it 
and try not to use actually try not to use too much bow if you use too much bow it makes it a little bit harder um, for the string crossings because you lose a little bit of bow control going on to the um, second full measure where it starts with the A you're going to pull your bow all, to, all the way to the tip and then work these next bunch of 16th notes closer to the tip. So. Notice I'm staying at the tip. Okay, now let's talk about this next shift. We're going to shift to fifth position. How can you make sure that that's in tune, that shift is in tune? Um, so after the third position shift, let me go back to the low A. Work your way at the tip. Here we go, third position, three one. Next shift is gonna be a three one in fifth position. Your first finger should be on a C sharp while your third finger is on your E. How can you find that E? Make it your harmonic. Practice it with a harmonic. And then plop it down. Okay. Then we shift up to seventh position. Four, two, and then coming down again is another E. So this is the second line is a harmonic E. Find it as a harmonic, don't play it as a harmonic though, but just for practice purposes, it helps to find it that way. And then you're staying in that position. One, two, four, three. Okay, then we have a shift down to second position. I am on the second line, second measure, or getting to the second measure. Um, I'm shifting to second position. The note is an A. How can I find that note? Well, it's an A, so you should use your open A. All of these notes that I'm telling you right now, it's easier to find context clues, I call them, like using your harmonic or using your open A to make sure that the other notes are in tune. So when you're coming down to second position on the second line, second measure, that's an A note. Match it with your open A. Then stay in second position. One, two, four, three, one, two. So again, that's one, two, four, three, one, two. What is that thing right there? If you've never seen this before, this is called a double sharp, okay? Sometimes they look a little bit different. This one looks, to me, looks more like a butterfly than other ones. Sometimes they look like X's, whatever. So this is a double sharp. So this is an F double sharp, F sharp sharp. So you start with F natural, make it sharp, make it sharp again, turns into a G natural. So F double sharp is another way of saying G natural. So from the open E, it's E, F sharp, F double sharp, and then G sharp. So after your second position, then up we go to the D string to a C natural or a B sharp with a two. So let me just play, let's play all of that right there. Okay, nice and slow and working on all those things that I just mentioned. Again, I'm gonna subdivide from the beginning before I start so that I make sure that my first note is a true eighth note. One and two and three and four. <laughs>
a four E N. <laughs> So notice that I was subdividing my rests in measure 20 into 16th notes. Why? Because I have the 16th note pickup now that I need to make sure is exactly a 16th note so it doesn't sound like the one above, which is an eighth note. This next part, um, uh, the third line down, is pretty similar to what happens at the beginning. So um, again, you're going to be making sure that four sixteenth notes for this. Okay, make sure there's four sixteenth notes equals one beat and then the sixth couplet also is equal to one beat. Again, once you get down to that low A, you're working your way to the tip and then you're staying at the tip. The only thing different at the end of this line, you're gonna go into fourth position on the E And then you're going to slide your hand down to second position. Okay, so let's work on line three nice and slow. Here we go. I'll leave the um, half note E out and I'll just subdivide into 16th notes so that we can make sure our pickup's a 16th note. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and. Second position. One, two, three, two. Okay, now I'm just going to go slow here. Open. Shift to third. And then another shift. To a one fifth position and then it's a one three and then two over on the E string is right in that position four two now this four says E above it so that means it's going to be on the E string what position is it has to be first This three says A above it, so you have to play it on the A string. Fourth position, one, four. Two, stay right there, four, one. Back to first. harmonic on the D string. Now you're going to go to the A string first position then third. Now the next thing you see is a G with a dash 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 dash. Keep that all in the G string. Third. out my um, tie there so it's a lot longer than that but you get the idea okay so let's take a look at um, starting on line three with that pickup 16th note and I'll play it all the way through now to that part so three e and a four e and
Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you with or make a different video to help you in a different way. Thanks for watching.